So now we get to the actual Ruqya itself. In addition to all the stuff we've already mentioned. Now I want to be clear that Ruqya means actually reciting the Quran, not playing Ruqya audio. You can use Ruqya audio to supplement your Ruqya, like you can put it in your ears to listen to, but it does not count as Ruqya. Listening to people reciting Ruqya recorded does not count as Ruqya. It doesn't count, so don't do it. Any, do it as a supplement, as a, you know, an extra bonus, but it's not Ruqya. So listening to Ruqya audio or listening to surahs is not Ruqya. Okay, what are you going to do? First thing you're going to do is purify your intention. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his help and his aid. And you're going to begin, of course, by saying, A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, or one of the authentic Similar words to that, similar, similar uh, isti'ada, seeking refuge with Allah from the shaitan. And you're going to begin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Every single day, a minimum of 45 minutes. That is a minimum. Now, someone may say, Is that from the Sunnah? And I will say to you openly, No, it is not from the Sunnah. There is no time limit in the Sunnah. However, this is just from experience of what I believe is practical. If I told you to do two hours, would you do it? Probably not. If I told you to do 10 minutes, would it be enough? Probably not. So my, what I've settled on that I'm happy with people doing is a minimum of 45 minutes continuous reading. A minimum of 45 minutes reading. In that 45 minutes, you should read Surah Al-Fatiha. Either you can read it one time, or you can read it three times, or you can read it seven times. Or you can read it a random number of times without aiming for a fixed number, because there is a sunnah for one and three and seven, and there is the rest you can do, but just don't give it any other number. Like, don't say I do it ten times every time. Like, just as much as you like. If you wish, you can repeat an ayah, like repeating, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ as some of the scholars used to do. Whenever you wish, you may blow, with or without spittle. With spittle? Without. You may blow in your hands, put them on the person. You may read while holding the person. You may read into the person's ear. You may read and blow after every ayah, after every surah, after every page. What There is no, you know, like you do whatever you wish within the limits of what the sunnah allows. Do not hit. Do not hit. I'm not saying hitting doesn't work, but hitting doesn't work for most people because they don't know how to do it. And when they do it wrong, they only hurt the patient and they don't hurt themselves. And it's also illegal and liable to get you in jail. So generally, don't hit. What you can do is to gently massage. Just, you know, follow. If you see some movement in the body, arm starts to move, just focus your blowing, focus your rubbing. You know, that way, if you get it wrong and you don't know where to put pressure or whatever, it's no problem because, you know, the person will just get a massage out of it. You know, it's not like nothing, nothing bad happened. Following, putting pressure and you just gently, just, just gently, you know, around the body, looking, being aware of what's happening. Surah Al-Fatiha. Ayatul Kursi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun Qul huwa Allahu ahad Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ That's all basically that I want you to read inside of the 45 minutes, minimum time. As well as 
the dua. And there are many, many duas that you can make. But for example, from among the duas that you can make, Allahumma rabba nas adhi bil ba's wa shfi anta shafi la shifa'a illa shifa'uk shifa'an la yuhadiru saqa. From the du'as that you can also make is to say Bismillah alladhi la yadurru ma'a ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis sama' wa huwa as-sami'ul alim. From the du'as that you can make are the du'as that start with A'udhu bi kalimatillah and there are maybe four A'udhu bi kalimatillahi tamma min kulli shaytanin wa hamma wa min kulli aynin lamma A'udhu bi kalimatillahi tamma ti min ghadabihi wa iqabih wa min sharri ibadihi wa min hamazati shayateen wa ayyahturun A'udhu bi kalimatillahi tamma ti allati la yujawizuhun nabarrun wa la fajir until the end of the du'a أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق. And maybe there are more. However, when you are reading these for yourself, you say أعوذ. And when you are reading them on someone, you say أعيذك. أعيذك for a man and أعيذك for a woman and أعيذكم for a group. أعيذك. Instead of a'udhu. A'udhu means I seek refuge. Uizuk means I seek refuge for you. From Allah, for you, on your behalf. From the du'as that you can say, Bismillahi yubrik min kulli da'in yashfik wa min sharri hasidin ila hasada wa min sharri wa sharri kulli li'ayn. It's another one. It's from Sahih Muslim. And as we said, Bismillahi arqiq min kulli shayin yudhik wa min sharri kulli nafsin aw aynin hasidin Allahu yashfiq Bismillahi arqiq And this is in Sahih Muslim. These should be said along with the recitation of the Quran to fill in the 45 minutes. Now, if you did each one seven times, I mean, if you did the, uh, if you did uh, the uh, recitation of the Quran each one seven times, that would probably take you more than 45 minutes to finish, along with the dua. Also from the duas, you can say are the duas for the sick person, such as, أَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ الْعَظِيمُ رَبَّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَظِيمُ أَنْ يَشْفِيَكَ I ask Allah, the great, the most great, Lord of the great throne, to cure you, and you can say that, seven times if a person says that then as long as Allah Azawajal has not written death for the patient they will be cured and so on and so forth someone may say Muhammad Tim you missed out a lot of ayat the ayat of sihr the ayat of ayn the ayat of, of, of and, and so on you are welcome to read any other part of the Quran that you wish but after the 45 minutes has expired. Why? Because I fear for you something that I fell into for a while. Is that I would be reading Surah As-Safat instead of Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas which were revealed to treat these problems. And I would run out of time and I'd be like, SubhanAllah, I didn't read, I didn't read the Quls because I was reading Surah As-Safat or Surah Rahman or Surah Al-Jinn or surah, you know, any other surah of the Qur'an. So what I now say is, in the first 45 minutes, only from those. After that, you may read from the Qur'an whatever you wish, including the various other ayat that I and other people who recommend for Rukya have recommended. You may read any of them you wish, including the ayat of Sihr, وَاتَّبَعُوا مَا تَتْلُوا الشَّيَاطِينَ وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنُ اُتُونِ بِكُلِّ سَاهِرٍ عَلِيمٍ and قَالُوا يَا مُوسَىٰ إِمَّا أَن تُلْقِيَ وَإِمَّا أَن نَكُونَ أَوَّلَ مَنْ أَلْقَىٰ And so on and so forth, all of these different ones. You may read any of them you wish. But after the 45 minutes, and this is in your own free time, you may read as many of them as you wish. What you must also do, this the next thing that you must also read, 
you must also take to reading Surah Al-Baqarah frequently. And it is the most powerful or one of the most powerful tools against magic and the magicians. Surah Al-Baqarah. You can break it up if you wish. However, I would recommend to you that you try to do it as much as you can in one go, as much as you can. I probably, you know, if, if your situation is really serious, you might need to do it every day or even twice a day if it's really, really serious. If your situation is, you know, controllable, then you might want to do it once every three days, twice a week, something like that. Someone might say, this, what you've told me might not be enough. Okay, if it's not enough, first of all, start doing Surah Al-Baqarah every day along with your 45 minutes, along with your additional recitation, along with additional dua, along with additional adhkar, and so on until, and fill up your time and do more and more of it. Don't forget those early things that we talked about. Okay. So you're doing this, you're blowing, and what you may also wish to keep with you is a bottle of good quality olive oil. I prefer, preference only, for it to be organic, cold-pressed, extra virgin olive oil. I also prefer it to be from Palestine if possible, but, and if you can't get then I suppose Italy will have to do. This, you keep it with you, and regularly, Blow into the, blow into the oil. Also keep with you a bottle of uh, water, preferably Zamzam, but doesn't have to be. And regularly as you're reading, keep blowing into that. You can use them later on for, for treatment. You can use them during the Rukia, the olive oil generally you rub on. And the uh, water you can either spray on or you can drink, or both. But they will help you for later on. As you're reading, you keep on reading over them. Unlock spiritual enrichment with One Islam TV app. Immerse yourself in a unique experience that is music free, fully halal, and continuously updated with fresh content daily. Enjoy a user friendly experience with features that allow you to save your favorite videos, create personalized playlists, and download and watch your content offline. Download the One Islam TV app now and embark on a transformative journey where faith and entertainment unite.